Hello everybody, I'm Susan Scoggins. I'm with Houston Area Parkinson's Society and this is another speech class. We're gonna be doing exercises to work on our breath support, our voice, um, and uh, swallowing, and some cognitive, a little cognitive exercise at the end, okay? Let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a, an ah sound. We're gonna hold it for 20 seconds, taking a big deep breath. Hold it as long as you can, try to stay with me. So here we go, take a big deep breath. Ah. Great, take a couple of breaths here and then we'll do it again. Another big deep breath. Here we go. Ah. Good. We'll do it three more times. Okay. And here we go, a big deep breath. Ah. Good. A few breaths here. And let's take a big deep breath. Here we go. Big breath. Ah. Great. I'll do that one more time. Okay, big breath right here. Ah. Good. Okay, next on the list is a high-pitched E, and the purpose of this one is to get the larynx up. We wanna get those superior laryngeal muscles that pull the larynx up. We want to make sure we work them. So we're doing, a, doing an E sound, one right after another, and we're holding for three to five seconds. So let's get started, here we go. Again. Good, again. 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 Great. Um, the, one of the swallowing exercises that we do is called the Masako. This is where you uh, place your tongue between your teeth and your lips, like that, and anchor it, and then swallow. And as, I've, I, as I have discussed in previous uh, speech classes, that's moving the posterior pharyngeal wall towards the tongue when both of them usually, the tongue goes back to meet it. This, we're working this wall here and it goes towards it. So you're just anchoring your lips between, anchoring your tongue between your teeth and your lips and then swallow, keeping it there. You can kind of see my neck go up and then down just a bit. And that's a swallow. And try to do that five times um, every day. It's very important. It's a good exercise. And then the other exercise is the Mendelssohn. And the Mendelssohn is where you're stopping in the middle of the swallow. You're doing a normal swallow. So you're just, if you watch. And then I finish. So I'm not breathing during that swallow. At the height of my swallow, I stop and I hold my breath. And that is the epiglottis flipping over, covering the airway. 
Okay, and do that about, you can stop the video and, and practice those exercises, um, maybe five each. Um, another one I'm just gonna talk to you about is the Shakur. We don't do it on my uh, video classes or my Zoom classes, but what is good is you lay on a, a very firm surface, like a good firm bed or on the floor, and you lift just your head up and you look at your toes. You try to hold your head up for 60 seconds and that works the muscles for swallowing as well. Also uh, strengthens, you know, it's, they're more, um, they're still involved with swallowing. Okay, another exercise that we do that you'll probably, I'm gonna have you stop the video and hold it for uh, 60 seconds is a pucker and smile. So this is the orbicularis oris. We wanna make sure we keep that, uh, that they can always make a seal that they, doesn't uh, start um, releasing and drooling. You know, uh, we wanna prevent that if we can. So doing a pucker and you're holding it for 60 seconds, then you switch to uh, the last 10 seconds, pull tighter so that we're kind of really putting an extra effort and uh, contracting the muscles. Then you're smiling and now we're stretching this the orbicular sorus muscle and, and now contracting the buccinator muscles right, right here, or buccinator, tightening that. And you're holding that for 60 seconds. So stop the video and do that at least once or twice each pucker for 60. Last 10 seconds, pull tighter. Then smile for 60 with the last 10 seconds pulling tighter. Okay, um, another exercise that we always do is we chin to our right shoulder and we drop our left and we hold for about 20 seconds. So you wanna get your chin as close to that right shoulder, dropping that left shoulder. And we're holding for about 20 seconds. We're just gonna hold for about 10 or 15 seconds. But what I want y'all to do is try to do it for 10, uh, 20 seconds. And then chin to the left shoulder, drop your right. And hold for 20 seconds. Then right ear to right shoulder, drop your left, pull it back, chin to two o'clock. And let's try to hold. So you're getting a stretch all the way down, all the way through here. Okay, chin to, oh. Left ear to left shoulder, drop your right, pull it back and chin to 10 o'clock. And then the last one is chin to chest. So you're stretching the muscles down the cervical spine. So let's do that. You're just holding a, a nice deep chin tuck. Okay, that's great. Last thing that we usually do on our uh, list of exercises with my Zoom class is a breath support. So you're inhaling through the nose for a count of three, exhaling through the nose for a count of eight. So we'll do it about five times, but it's good uh, to go ahead and try and do about 10 of these. So inhale, two, three, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale, two, three. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Last one. Inhale, two, three. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Great. <coughs> have a tickle in my throat. All right. <coughs> now for some of our thinking exercises. This one is called Double Trouble. Find the one word, and I'll, give, I'll give you three words, but find the one word that precedes the three words that I'm gonna give you. For instance, <coughs> 
if I say weed, coast, and sick, you might think of sea, seaweed, sea coast, and seasick. Seaweed, sea coast, and seasick. So let's try some. Let's do mine, M-I-N-E, rush, and standard. What word do you think would go in front of each one of those? How about gold? Gold mine, gold rush, and gold standard. So now you've kind of got the idea. Let's do another one. Cocktail, salad, cake. What word do you think of that might go in front of all of those? How about fruit? Fruit cocktail, fruit salad, and fruit cake. Now here's four words. Line, L-I-N-E. House, cord, C-O-R-D, and tools. What do you think would go in front of those words? If you haven't thought of it, think of the, it begins with P. Power line, power house, power cord, and power tools. Let's do the next one. Box, lace, and shine. Box, lace, and shine. How about shoe? Shoe box, shoe lace, and shoe shine. Here we go, let's do another one. Brush, horse, line, pen, P-I-N. So brush, horse, line, pen, P-I-N. This one begins with C-L. And if you get one or two of them, then you can figure out that it probably, but that it goes with the others. But if you said clothes, the word clothes, then you're correct. So clothes brush, clothes horse, clothes line, and clothes pen. All right, let's do the next one. Book, up, mate, mark. Book, up, Mate Mark. <laughs> Begins with CH. Check book, check up, checkmate, check mark. Here we go. Let's do the next one. Bug, spread, rock, pan. Bug, Spread, rock, pan. Begins with a B. How about bed? Bed bug, bed spread, bed rock, and bed pan. Here we go. Flower, shine, burn. Begins with an S, probably pretty easy. Sunflower, sunshine, and sunburn. Here we go, cap, club, gown. Begins with an N. Night club, night cap, and night gown. Let's do one more, there's four words. Shoulder, turkey, cream, sweat. Shoulder, turkey, cream, sweat. It begins with a C. How about cold shoulder, cold turkey, cold cream, cold sweat? Very good. Wonderful. So this is a class, um, an online class at, um, at HAPS online. I teach a speech class on Thursdays from 1030 to 1130 on Thursdays. 
and there's other speech classes. There's uh, exercise classes by physical therapists. There's, um, I think they have Tai Chi and boxing. Excellent classes on Zoom or maybe in person. I am, you'll need to go to www.hapsonline.org and look at the different classes that they have. They're all free and it's wonderful. Um, but I put out about two videos a month and they're all classes to work on your breath support, the strength of your voice, swallowing, thinking, and it's good to have you following me along. So uh, I'll see you again. Thank you.